Hello. We're going to add a welcome text section to the top of the front page on a Genesis um, theme that's for WordPress. So we're using the Genesis framework and we're going to add a box like this only on the front page. Now if you have a look at this one, it says welcome to the agency theme, but if we go to a different page, so it's not there. If we go to any of the other pages, it's not there but it is there on the home page. So that's the bit we're adding, a bit like this, but on a different theme. So the theme we're using is um, executive. So I want to put one just under here, similar sort of thing, a box with text in it. So first of all, we need some code to put in our uh, theme. Now, this is the bit that makes it only appear on the home page, that this is a a conditional tag and there are loads of these. I'll show you a, a website where you can find out all the different conditional tags. So all you need to do is put this code. So you've got your uh, opening PHP, closing PHP there, and then an if statement in the middle. And then at the end of your code, you need this opening and closing again. So what we do, we open, we open PHP, run a conditional statement, close PHP, put our HTML in here, and then we open PHP and close PHP again. But this is the code that uh, that we're actually going to use. So this, you, you also need a div class. Put your put your HTML inside a class, a div, um, and it's got to be a unique name because you don't want to clash with anything else. But this is how we're going to style the uh, the box that we, we're making. I'll show you as we go along. So that's the code we're going to use. Right. I want to put it here. So I've installed a plugin called Simple Hooks. So let's go to Genesis, Simple Hooks. And when you, the hook we're going to use is this before content sidebar. Now the easiest way is to search. If you've got Firefox, just click Control F and you'll see this little search box. And you can search in there for this hook. And it's Genesis underscore before underscore content underscore sidebar underscore wrap. Now that's actually just a place on your page. And the, the place I found that from is this Genesis Tutorials Visual Hook Guide. And this just gives you a, an idea of where all the hooks are. I found this one that I wanted to use. It's in that position, just under the nav bar, which is where I want to put my code. So I copied that particular piece of um, code there. And that's what I used to search in Simple Hooks. So where did we get to? That's the one we're going to use. So we need to paste our code in this box. So let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I'll just put you on hold while I find my piece of code. Right, this is the piece of code in my text editor. Make sure you, you make the code in a plain text editor. Don't use Microsoft Word, it just won't work. So we need to paste this code into our simple hooks. And this is the box we're using, so just paste it in. And what we've got is the opening PHP, then some um, HTML wrapped in a div class so that we can style the HTML, and then the closing PHP. Now down here it says execute PHP on this hook, so click that because we're going to use PHP. If we didn't use PHP, we couldn't have that conditional tag, and the conditional tag makes this apply only to the front page. So we pasted it in, click Execute PHP on this hook, and click Save Changes. Now if we go back to our demo site, it's going to appear here, but it won't look very good. So let's see. There we go. See, it's all in there, but it doesn't look good. So we need to style this, and that's where our CSS code comes from, or comes in. Now all this is, paste it in and then I'll go through on the slide. So where are we going to? Now with this where you want to go is go to this um, dashboard, go to appearance, editor. Now you want to be really careful with this. It will probably open up your style sheet. When you go to appearance editor, your style sheet will probably up, open up automatically here. But make sure that that's what you're dealing with, your style sheet. Do not put this code in any PHP file or your whole WordPress site will break. 
So make sure you're in style sheet, style CSS. If it's a, a Genesis for a, a theme, it will probably have one called style sheet, style CSS. But the important bit is do not put this code in a PHP page. Some of these are like that one, home PHP and functions PHP. Don't use that, use style CSS. So we've got to scroll right down to the very bottom. So we've got to the very bottom. Go to a new line and paste our uh, CSS in there. Now I'll show you how the CSS works in a minute. So if we go back to our page, it's not styled now, but there we go, we've styled it. Now you can do that on more or less any Genesis theme. Um, I'll just show you how the CSS works. Let's see. There we go. Um, we made a class, that div class I told you about, this, that welcome, div class welcome is uh, this here. A dot means class, so it's that's the welcome CSS. And we just put some padding, a, a margin at the bottom, and we change the background color to nearly black. And then we added some this, this is changing the, the paragraphs and if you put h1 2 3 4 5 or 6 and we just change the color to white and that's in make sure you are editing style sheet style css that one don't edit any of the php files and you could well break your wordpress and then you need ftp if you do break wordpress with uh, by changing the php files you need ftp to fix it you can't fix it we're using wordpress so do be careful. All right, that's all we had to do. And we've added this only on the home page. Go to a different page. It's not there. Go back to the home page. It is. Now, there are loads of these conditional tags. If you scroll down, this is we're at WordPress.org codex conditional tags. So if you just search Google for WordPress conditional tags, it'll take you here. So. The one we're using is his home, but there's also his front page. Um, and there's a slight difference between home and front page. If you pick your own page to be the front page, um, th then that's a, a static page and you need his front page. If it's the home page that shows all your blog type listing or your ordinary WordPress home page, it's his home. So it's just worth knowing the difference. There is a difference between his front page and his home. But there are literally oh, there are dozens and dozens, there might be hundreds of different um, things you can use with these conditional tags. It's far too deep a subject for this one video. And the other real thing you really need to know is this visual Genesis tutorials visual hook guide. And that gives you all positions of all the different hooks. So that's all you need to know. I'll just show the the little slides again and we should be okay so this is just how you do your style sheet and this is how you do the, the PHP code that goes into your simple hooks so that's uh, Genesis simple hooks and we search for the thing that we got from the uh, visual hooks guide one we, we, we searched for that Genesis before content sidebar wrap we searched for it here because there's, there's 50 of them and it takes some finding. And then we paste our PHP code in here with the HTML inside the PHP. And we click the execute PHP on this hook, then click save changes. And we end up with a thing like that. Now, thanks for watching and bye for now.